Looking for the perfect small dog for your family? This series of all small dog breeds may make the decision a bit easier. Let's continue looking at all the small dog breeds from A to Z, starting with the Havanese. If you haven't seen parts 1 or 2, you can find a link to them and the other videos in the series in the description. If you're looking for an adaptable, amusing, and overall humorous companion dog, the Havanese could be the perfect dog for you. Even though this Bichon breed is classified as a toy breed, it's sturdy and not overly fragile, perfect for a family with smaller children. Originating from the island nation of Cuba, these little dogs have the most adorable tiny spring in their step due to the fact that their front legs are slightly shorter than their rear. This gives them a little bounce, which seems to make everything they do even more amusing. They're not yappy or snappy like a lot of toy dogs, which makes them perfect for city life or the adventurous RV dweller. When you think small dog, sheep dog usually doesn't come to mind. But at 20 to 30 pounds, the Icelandic sheep dog straddles the line between medium and small dogs. Thought to be companions to the ancient Vikings, according to Dog Time, the Icelandic sheepdog breed was used to protect flocks, especially lambs, from birds of prey. They still retain the habit of watching the sky and barking at birds, as well as everything else they see or hear. This breed is also known as the Icelandic Spitz or just Icelandic Dog. They are loyal, cheerful, and attentive with plenty of energy to play. At the same time, they are affectionate and ready to cuddle with family. They have a personality that will make them fit right in as a member of any family. Sometimes called the Indian Pomeranian, because of its looks, the Indian Spitz is in fact its own breed. This companion breed is the result of India banning international dog breeds in the 1980s and 1990s. And despite being quite popular in India, it is not well known outside of the country, nor is it recognized by the major kennel clubs. A dog that is well known almost everywhere is the Italian Greyhound. This AKC toy breed is gentle, devoted, and usually calm. They are true creatures of comfort and, though quite athletic, would prefer to lie in your lap for most of the day. This is definitely a lap dog. They are quite intolerant of cold weather, in fact so much so that IG aficionados tend to train them to use potty pads or litter boxes. Probably the best known Jack Russell Terrier is Wishbone, a kid show on PBS that was produced between 1995 and 1997, starring the titular Wishbone played by a JRT named Soccer. Like the character in the show, Jack Russell Terriers are incredibly cute, curious, and always ready for a new adventure. But don't let their clever antics and friendly appearance deceive you. They are independent-minded with energy to spare, and those traits coupled with high intelligence make these dogs a challenge to train and not recommended for novice dog owners. If you've got as many dogs and cats as I do, air quality in your home can become an issue, with tons of pet dander flying around. That's why I use a Viva ProHepa 9000 air purifier. It's an effective, mechanical air cleaner. No UV, ions, or other marketing gimmick. Just air moving through a pre-filter, a carbon filter, and a HEPA filter for the small particles. And it looks good sitting in a family room or bedroom with its sleek, clean design. One unit covers up to 600 square feet, which is perfect for an apartment. My family has been breathing easier since we've picked it up. Setup was super easy. Check it out in the Amazon link in the description. I have a video about it on the product page. Now back to the small doggos. The Jagged Terrier, aka German Hunting Terrier, is not the first dog you think of when considering a family companion, but they are gaining popularity among non-hunters. Developed in Germany between the two world wars, breeders were determined to create a German version of the Fox Terrier. The dog we end up with today is an energetic, playful dog that gets along well with people, including children. They love to play and will not tire easily, making them an all-around great playmate for active families. They are also gentle and patient, so you won't need to worry about things getting out of hand. They can be protective, so socialize them at an early age. 
A small companion breed dating back to antiquity, the Japanese Chin is often described as an affectionate, sweet, and playful breed. While lively and playful, the Chin does not need much in the way of exercise. Most of their requirements can be met by following you around the house, which they will do quite often. They do enjoy a daily short walk and play session with their favorite human. Most Chins are quiet, which is a great big plus for those who do not like yappy dogs. Because of their close resemblance to the other small white dogs, the AKC doesn't recognize the Japanese Spitz. Some may say they look like a miniature Samoyed. What is similar is the fact that these dogs, along with other breeds such as the German Spitz, Quezon, and Malamute all belong to the Spitz family. Intelligent and playful, these dogs are alert and bold, making them excellent watchdogs, but not guard dogs as they would pose little threat to intruders above the ankle. Originating in 20th century Japan, the Japanese Terrier is an extremely rare breed, even in Japan. But you may find them lounging on a sofa here and there. They don't need much exercise to keep the mind and body active. A 30 minute walk is all that is necessary to keep the Japanese Terrier happy. I'm going to mispronounce this dog's name. I, I just can't do Dutch very well. The Netherlands Quakerhanya is a happy, intelligent, and adaptable small dog breed, originally developed as a working dog to help duck hunters. Early in the breed's history, people realized how suitable these dogs were for family life, and they developed a reputation as also serving as a beloved family pet. Rare outside of Europe, these dogs are always white and orange with a full thick tail. The German-bred Kromferlander is quite the rare breed, especially in the U.S. and even in Europe. This is a loyal, people-oriented breed that craves the attention of its special people. These high-spirited, docile dogs are friendly with people they know, but can be a bit reserved around strangers. Like a Chihuahua, they tend to be one-person dogs. At 22 to 31 pounds, these dogs fall on the upper border of our list in size. The Lakeland Terrier is a playful, curious, and clever member of the AKC Terrier group. Originally bred as a ratter in England in the 1700s, it has unique characteristics that set it apart from other terriers and make it especially desirable to many people. Like the typical terrier though, the Lakeland puts on an air of confidence, intelligence, and friendliness. The most common trait that all terriers display is their independence and energy level. These dogs are no couch potatoes and need daily exercise to keep them happy and entertained. Also bred in England, the Lancashire Healer was bred to be a herder and drover, much like the more popular Corgis. If you are in the US, you'll be lucky to ever meet the breed, and they were even put on the endangered breeds list in the UK because of their dwindling numbers. Historians believe that the original ancestors of the breed included Welsh Corgi and some form of Black and Tan Terriers, most likely the Manchester Terriers. A Tibetan dog of antiquity, this small companion dog was originally bred as a watchdog for Tibetan monasteries. As such, it is as much bold and loyal as it is playful. Losses are adorable, sweet, and popular. Losses can also be very hard-headed or are prone to small dog syndrome. That is a condition which the dog seems to think they are the alpha dog and that the human should listen to them. But this is usually to be blamed on irresponsible humans, not the dog. Originally bred as a companion dog in France and Germany in the 1500s, the Lauschen is an affectionate, spunky, and devoted small dog that resembles a small lion when his hair is trimmed. The name Lauschen actually means little lion. But their looks are not usually why people fall in love with them. It's about the personality. They're intelligent, affectionate, lively, and outgoing, true companion dogs through and through. I might mention they are considered one of the healthier dog breeds and do great with children. Enjoying learning about all these small dogs? Here's a link to the playlist or you can find the other videos in the description. Go ahead and smash the subscribe button for more. Don't forget to ring the notification bell. We'll start the list off with the Maltese next episode. And as always, catch you next time.